Hey, what's up guys? I have not done a tutorial in a while. So a friend of mine, Caleb Wallace up in Oregon, sent me this beautiful action shot that he had taken of a kayaker in Washington. And when he had sent me these images, he was a little unsure about how to use layer masks and blending and wanted me to kind of educate him a little bit on that. So I thought that this would be a perfect time to jump back into my tutorial series and show you guys how I would go about blending a few layers together to make a beautiful sequence. As you can see with this image, there is a kayaker down below, but there's a few layers of this shot going on that I want to blend together with this long exposure of the waterfall. So in order to do that, I first want to make sure that all of my layers are aligned. So I'm going to shift click on all the layers to make sure that they're selected. I'm going to go up to edit and auto align layers. I'll leave auto for the projection and lens correction. I'm not going to play with that right now, but I'll just press OK and let this run its course. Shouldn't take too long because there's only a few layers. I've done this with night sky photography and it takes a little bit longer when you're blending 40 to 50 images. Anyways, once those are all aligned, you can see that there was a little bit of movement, but not a big deal. So I'm gonna start by blending the second layer from the bottom on top of my uh, base layer, which is the long exposure. So I'll activate that layer and then I'm going to add a layer mask on top of that by just clicking this button down here. Now some people like to have a white layer mask and just brush away areas that they don't want to use. I, on the other hand, like to use a black layer mask and add parts of the image back that I want to be in the final image. So I am going to press Command I with the layer mask thumbnail selected. It's Control I on a PC, I believe. So I'll do that. I'm going to bring up my brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard, and I'm going to use a I'm going to use 100% opacity with a brush that has a 0% hardness. My flow is at 32%. These aren't like numbers that have to be exactly like this I just like I like to have a little bit of flow when I'm when I'm editing this so I'm gonna let my brush uh, using keys on the keyboard uh, to kind of brush in parts of the shot that I want I can drop my opacity down and brush in or remove areas that I don't want uh, to really affect the overall image I kind of like the long exposure down here, so I'm going to make sure to remove as much of these action shot images as, uh, as much as possible down here. So once I'm pretty satisfied with this layer, I will move on to the next layer by selecting it, activating it, and adding another inverted layer mask, and then going ahead and brushing in the area that I want to be added to this image. As you can see, this is a very simple process and it doesn't take too much time. You just have to make sure that when you're editing, you're not removing anything from uh, bottom layers. So if I was to brush white here, it would remove all of the kayaker from below. So I'm going to try my best to avoid removing any of the bottom layers. And then I can move up to the final layer. And again, just brush down here. A few other things that I want to do is there's a little bit of movement from the base layer because of the long exposure. So I'm just going to brush some of this top layer on it so that the twigs and leaves and all this kind of look a little bit more natural.
and I feel pretty set with this image. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm going to link Caleb Wallace's Instagram and website in the comment sec or in the notes section uh, so that you guys can take a better look at his stuff. He shoots some incredible action photography up in the Pacific Northwest, mostly kayakers. I think some of his images are really incredible and it would be great if you can give him a follow. And thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you out with any questions you might have.